Okay, it's now time for stage three, which is positioning the 82K resistor, okay, which is the cream one with gray, red, and orange stripes, and then we need to solder it. Now the resistor, as you can see from this picture, looks very big. Actual size is this, okay? It's tiny. Now, we need to position this as shown. So just give this a spin round, make sure your copper strips line up as best as possible with your plastic that you've done already and lay your resistor in position okay like so what's the best thing to do is just put, hold on with one finger and just push it down just to squash it so we've got the best chance of resist soldering okay lay it in position then again making sure your soldering iron's nice and clean so you've got a nice shiny tip okay like so and your solder which you've had before Okay, put the soldering iron on inside, gently as you can, because you don't want to move it. Move the resistor and feed in the solder. Okay, you'll see the resistor has moved. Okay, just gently move away the soldering iron. Okay, you can see also the copper tape has lifted up slightly. Don't worry about that at the moment. Okay, just leave it 20, 30 seconds. Okay, and we can push it back down in a minute. You'll also see that this, the resistor has gone at an angle across. Okay, again, not a problem at the moment. Give this 10, 10 more seconds, we can push it down and we can reposition. Okay, I think that's enough. Just give it a push down. It's warm, but it's not too hot. And then what we can do, still keeping hold here, we can just bend the resistor around slightly so we can get it near enough where it's supposed to be. And we need to solder this second part. Okay, so soldering iron on its side, just push in. Quite a bit of solder again. Okay, and then just move away gently with the soldering iron. It's got a little bit of solder still smoking on the end. Just give that a wipe on your sponge. Okay, and then it's nice and clean and ready for next time. As the tape's lifted, again, give it about 20 seconds until you push it down from the moment you solder it. Once you've given it a bit of time, just give it a push down. Okay, don't be tempted to do this too quickly, because otherwise this will be red hot. Once you've finished, your circuit will look like so. Best thing to do is while holding and pinching, just lift up these legs. Okay, so they're pointing straight up like so. We'll worry about putting those off afterwards. That's all you have to do for that stage three.